Here's Gary Vanetta with his ninth win in a row on this year to go to 16 and nine overall, 13 and two in conference play. There were times I know that you were happy out there. There was times you felt like your team struggled a little bit. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was uh, one of those unusual games where um, you, know, you come off the road, two hard-fought wins. You come home, you get a chance to play at home, and uh, I think we relaxed. I mean, I really do. I think it. Uh, it set the tempo. When that happens, I have to try to adjust it, and so therefore I wind up being a little more animated than maybe I'm. Uh, I have been this year, um, and uh, I'm just. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let our kids not fight, and uh, and if if they don't fight, I'll fight for them. Absolutely. Uh, Casey Britt Bell got her 1,000th career point. You really got excited about that. I know you cheered for her and. You know her family very well, but uh, in particular, she's just been a really good player. For yeah, her. she really has, and uh, I hated that. Uh, I hated for her that, you know, she had the game she had against Alderson Broadus, but I'm glad for her that she had it at home and had a chance to, to break uh, break the thousand point barrier at home on our first shot, and uh, you know, really, really had a, a, an excellent first half. Actually, had an excellent game again, another double double for her. So. I was, I was definitely proud of her for that. And you saw our teammates were uh, excited. genuinely excited for her as well. We're going to take a look at the highlights, including that shot from Casey Britt Bell, her 1,000th career point. Real quickly, I think this is the kick out to Felker for three. Just comment as you see anything in here. Uh, Haley's been shooting the ball really, really well. We've been making that extra pass. Christina's making that extra pass. You know, she almost had a triple double. She was one assist away at, at AB from having a triple double. So she's really seeing the open girl on the passes right now as well. Got it into Bell there, turn and shoot. And that was Casey the second Britt. half. That was another another big uh, another big basket right there at the end, toward the end when they made a little run. And uh, seems like she has really done a much better job just catching it, turning it, and shooting it, and, and not hesitating. It's funny. It's kind of a kind of an odd thing. She's not a big post player, but she scores better inside than she does outside because of her ability to uh, to, to shoot it quickly. Great play by Kylie White. Yeah, there's a good instinct right there to, to run, get the ball, get an offensive rebound, and go up strong and get the foul and get D up to Fowler and, and go to the free throw line. And once again, those were big, big plays for us. We, we shot 11%, I think, in the first half from three-point range, and I think we ended up two for 15 from three-point range uh, as well. So maybe uh, got the roll that time. A couple times that came off the rim for her. One, yeah. She could have had a couple more baskets at least. Absolutely. You know, when that happens, you got to get the ball inside. Like Sarah had 16 inside. You know, Britt had 22. I think we scored 40 points on the inside, and, and that's what you got to do in these type of games. And big shot by Morgan right there. She's given us a lot of big baskets uh, throughout the year, and uh, that's another one right there. Here's the 1,000th career point by Casey Britt Bell. She commented she's never seen herself do that. Yeah, that's a little jump, a little running hook shot. I've never seen it either. So uh, she's created a lot of shots. So it's uh, like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of her. And uh, now we can move forward and uh, she can focus on uh, what we're all trying to do, which is, is win a conference tournament. Of course, we got one more regular season game before that begins. Absolutely. He's Gary Vanana on Saturday. It'll be <laughs> senior day as Salem comes in here. And we'll talk with you about that tomorrow and pre-recorded interview for the uh, game on Saturday, but uh, just a quick comment about your four seniors. Yeah, we uh, we have a fourth senior. Most people know about it. Kylie White uh, has enough hours as a junior to graduate, uh, and uh, she's going to do that. She's going to forego her senior year. So it'll be, uh, you know, Britt, Haley, Christina, and Kylie, and uh, they've meant um, more than you could possibly imagine to uh, to us at Trevecca. So they've been a part of two championships in the NCAA era, and hopefully a third. Absolutely. He's Gary Vanetta. I'm Greg Gruff. The Trojans get their 10th win in a row tonight, 16-9 overall. We hope we see you on Saturday at 2 o'clock here at the Trojan Fieldhouse. If not, you can catch it live right here on TNUTrojans.com.